What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and today guys, if you were looking forward to the Crow reboot, this is not good news for you. It appears that Jason Momoa and Corin Hardy have officially departed the project of the upcoming Crow reboot. One, they were attached for several months and in a somber post amongst all the shenanigans and Guinness chugging, Jason Momoa released one of him and his director-to-be at the time with a artist rendering of what Jason Momoa would have looked like, or so I assume, in the Crow makeup design. And guys, he had this to say. Momoa states, I've waited eight years to play this dream role. I love you at Corn Hardy and at Sony Pictures. Unfortunately, I may have to wait eight more. Not our team, but I swear I will. James Obar, sorry to let you down. I won't on the next. This film needs to be set free. And to the fans, sorry. I can't play anything but what this film deserves and it needs love. I'm ready when it's right. Love you, Corn. Aloha, Jay. The Crow was originally birthed in the black and white pages of James Obar's tragic love story of the same name, centering around a man who's brought back to life to take revenge on a gang who murdered him and his fiance a year prior. Impervious to pain, the character exacts revenge on all those responsible so he can return to his love in the afterlife. The Grim Revenge Tale was later adapted by Alex Proyas, starring the late Brandon Lee as Eric Draven. However, during production, Lee was killed in a freak accident involving a prop gun, which had not been properly checked. After his death, the film was finished using various doubles and trick photography. The film itself was to have been Brandon's breakout performance in a more drama-heavy role, unlike any he had previously taken on. Since its release, the film has received critical praise and has attained cult status a million times over. Three sequels followed, two of which were sent to home release. The new film was to reboot the franchise and to give it a more faithful take on the original story found in the graphic novels. So for the past while, the film itself has experienced a lot of hiccups and it's been a revolving door of actors and directors. At one point, Luke Evans was even picked to play Eric Draven, which I thought was also a good pick. As a fan of the original film, the film was beyond what I was prepared for when I was younger and Brandon Lee's performance was just nothing short of amazing and it was kind of the precursor to Heath Ledger's Joker in the regard that during the film he gave a stellar performance but it was even more tragic because he got killed during the production and you could tell and I hate to say this but it seemed as though this film was going to be his breakout because he was actually able to get out of the shadow of his father Bruce Lee who was infamously a great martial artist and an up-and-coming actor and just as his biggest role had hit he had passed away and he couldn't even finish the film he was currently working on but with regards to this film it's one of a kind it's like lightning in a bottle they try to keep the franchise going with sequels that didn't really hit and and everyone hates the second sequel the city of angels one but i actually thought it was very good and I enjoyed it and I liked those two and I felt like those two are the only ones that I really need to recognize because of how they're connected with a certain character that's shared in both films. The graphic novel is way, way more graphic and a lot more detailed and the graphic novel itself is kind of a descent into madness where you feel the character is kind of psych psychopathic and very suicidal and that's stuff that they didn't touch on in the main film because they did make some major changes as far as locales uh, certain aspects that were going on the film i feel did a, an even better job at balancing the violence without being way too overboard and over the top and telling a very good story and that's why i really admire the film but when it comes to this reboot i don't know really how i felt about it even Though it's a reboot, there's always merits in a reboot. And you know what? It sparks interest in the original films and a whole new generation of fans gets brought on and it's it's cyclical. And the thing is, is you have to adapt and retell certain stories every once in a while, just like old traditional stories that are passed down from generation to generation. And this one here was going to be a more faithful interpretation from what I was getting and hearing about akin to the graphic novel. So I was definitely interested to see how they would be able to adapt a lot of the different elements in there. But alas, with this setback again, The Crow finds itself back in the pile of reboots that are waiting to be made and possibly won't get made anytime soon. Um, I'm not entirely sad about this news, but it does seem like just as we were about to get something and go somewhere with production, again, the rug is pulled from under our feet with this. 
And it's really kind of interesting what Jason Momoa said in his post. He's talking about the film needs to be set free and it needs love. So I'm wondering if the writers and whatnot are not giving their best or they're restricting certain aspects of the story and changing it. Because he said he was he was willing to play the character, but the film needs love. So I think that's kind of a nice way of saying, you know, the writers don't know what the hell they're doing. And I can't be on board for this if they're not going to give me a quality story to work with and actually be able to do some adapting where it's it's faithful and it's meaningful. And those two things are very hard to come by in kind of a Hollywood that really isn't very original or is unwilling to pay tribute and homage to the original source material. But anyway, guys, that's all the time that I have for today. What do you feel about this Crow reboot? And with this news, do you think it's ever going to get made? And for those of you guys who enjoyed the first film, please let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you like this video, keep an eye out for my next one. But until next time, guys, I'm Jay. Take care. Bye.